Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles here with you. Well, there, there's some more news here coming um, from the uh, bishops' meeting. Um, what uh, what it's saying here is that uh, Cardinal DiNardo is saying that this Vatican directive um, that told them not to do any voting um, came from the Congregation for Bishops. And, you know, apparently not from the Pope. Well, I mean, first of all, I, I, I mean, I think we would have a hard time b believing that. Now, um, you know, unless the Congregation for Bishops were absolutely sure that they were doing what um, the Pope wanted them to do, I mean, of course, you know, it seems like uh, they t someone, um, someone in the Congregation for Bishops would ask them, you know, uh, you know, do you think we ought to allow them to vote, or well, what do you think ought to happen here? I mean, that's like, um, oh, I don't know, like the vice president doing something without consulting, um, you know, with the president about something important. I mean, that's silly for, you know, to think that, you know. But this is Catholic news agency, so they're going to put uh, put their best spin on it here. Um, you know, the other thing that's really strange about this is they've known, um, the, the the Vatican has known for weeks what the agenda is, that there is going to be voting on a couple of um, specific uh, points here. Um, and, um, you know, they, they didn't say anything until late yesterday afternoon, you know, um, I, I guess to where now late yesterday afternoon it'd be like... Um, well, you could add like about eight hours to that. So let's say it was four o'clock in the afternoon. They'll add eight hours. So that would make it um, about midnight, uh, uh, the time that it would be in Rome. Um, and what kind of business are you going to go about at that point in time, you know? Um, I mean, they, they did that for a reason, too. I, I, I mean, it just, I mean, it seems obvious. I guess there's some very slim possibility that... Um, you know, they had to discuss this for a few weeks, you know, and they finally decided late yesterday afternoon to uh, not let them vote. All right, well, there's a, all right, so that's that, you know, I mean, that just uh, stinks to high heaven as far as I'm concerned. All right, so here, I, I'm going to read a little, read a little bit. There's something else that sort of stinks in here also. The directive not to vote on the proposals which have been expected to form the basis for the response of the church in the United States to the sexual abuse crisis came from the Congregation for Bishops, Cardinal Daniel DiNardo of Galveston, Houston, said Monday. Da -da 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 -da. He indicated that the directive came not from Pope Francis, but directly from the Congregation for Bishops. Well, now, according to this sentence, in other words, they were told by the Congregation for Bishops not to do this. It doesn't mean that Pope Francis wasn't involved with directing the Congregation for the Bishops, um, you know, um, what their wishes were, all right? So I guess they're not really denying that Pope Francis knows anything about this. That's uh, so I, I correct myself there. I, I don't want you to think that. Um, but I mean, it had to come with his approval. It just was, um, the directive itself was just voiced, I guess, um, I don't know, you know, whether it was uh, in a phone call or in an email or something. It was voiced from the Congregation for Bishops with his approval, no doubt. All right. Um, all right. All right, now here, now this is what stinks. Here's another, something else that stinks to me. I mean, it still amazes me why they waited till late yesterday afternoon, you know, after knowing for weeks, but um, maybe we'll never know that. It just, uh, it just, uh, it just doesn't seem above board. Anyway, here, now listen to this thing here. Bishop Christopher Coyle of Burlington, who spoke at the press conference, uh, conference told CNA, the Catholic News Agency, that he did not know whether the American members of the congregation played a role in the decision. 
Now, played a role in this thing. So apparently there was some decision by um, the Congregation for Bishops. In other words, I guess the congregation had a meeting yesterday afternoon or something, and they voted on whether or not they should allow them. I mean, this is really getting confusing here. Anyway, um, now, now here, listen to this part. <laughs> the American members of the Congregation for Bishops are, uh, check, check these two guys out, Cardinals Blaise Kupich of Chicago and Donald Worrell, it says Archbishop Emeritus of Washington. All right, so uh, <laughs> so remember what I told you before is that uh, it's uh, Cardinal Kupich who who stands up and says, uh, which is like totally out of turn. You know, that wasn't um, that isn't something that's really done there. But you know they sort of broke with the order, and and uh, I guess Cardinal DiNardo allowed him to speak to the um, you know to uh, all the bishops, and um, say that well we could still um, you know talk about it and um, put together something and forward it to the Pope you know and say you know this is what we got in mind, um, you know I mean this whole. You know, maybe I'm making something out of nothing here. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just very suspicious of the whole thing starting off in uh, such an odd sort of way, you know. Well, anyway, a source close to Worrell told CNA that he did not believe the Cardinal had been involved in the decision. So if Worrell wasn't involved in the decision, that means that the uh, the congregation of bishops wasn't, they, they didn't like sit down and decide this, you know, and, you know, and take a vote on whether they should allow this or not, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out whether this is really just a directive from the Pope through the congregation of bishops or whether the bishops actually sat down, uh, the congregation of bishops uh, in, at the Vatican sat down and actually like took a vote on this. And I, regard, regardless of, of, of how it happened, I mean, the Pope's got to know about, you know. I mean, he, he you know, I mean, he, he's the one who put the, who put the stops on this. Uh, why he waited so long, I mean, that's, I find that really interesting. Um, you didn't know, believe, of course, now that's if that's correct, you know, a source close to world to CNA. Well, I don't, anyway, um, I think uh, probably LifeSite News and maybe a couple other, like Church Militant, they might dig a little more, you know, I'm just bringing you this, because, I mean, this is mainstream media here, so, you know, I mean, they're not going to dig, you know, they're, they're not going to do any digging, and um, I'm surprised they even have another story up here, you know, uh, because, um, you know, they usually don't... Um, put up stories that they can't put the, the uh, right kind of spin on, you know, the proper kind of spin uh, that really supports the Pope because they're very much in support of the Pope here. You know, they'll just not do a story and then it'll show up in other places. And by the way, you know, I just read an article uh, not uh, just a few days ago that said that Mainstream Catholic media has been doing this for quite some time in an effort to uh, kind of shelter or shield the Pope from, um, you know, um, uh, people thinking like, um, you know, uh, questioning what he's doing, um, you know, th this sort of thing. And doing this, the fact that they were doing this, really gave rise to a lot of uh, websites and blogs and other people um, like Janet Smith, who's a moral theologian, you know, uh, and many others, uh, Dr. Bowring. Uh, there are like really a lot of them, um, you know, that have um, spoken up. Um, you know, they, they've made, they made, they created the situation that they really wanted to destroy that that whole side of it you know um, they didn't realize that um, other God would raise up people 
to uh, speak truth on the other side. They were just thinking like, you know, we could just make all this go away. So um, they, they've really um, brought, they have really have birth, you know, they've given birth to something that they were really trying to destroy. So I thought that was really interesting. And I think it's really true, I mean, to a very large extent. All right, well, the rest of this is just more words. You know, of course, you could always read more about what well, what I'm reading. You know, I, I, I don't usually read the whole thing. There's, you know, uh, it's just a lot more words here. I just take uh, what, I, what I feel is the important points out of it, you know. A lot of it gets uh, redundant, and it's like we, we, we know all this other stuff anyway. All right, well, how long did I talk this time? Oh, 10 minutes and almost 11 minutes. Um, okay, that's it for now. Bye.